Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the TWT token or the Trust Wallet token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at the daily chart, if I zoom out and take a look at what we've been doing since 2021, then we can easily identify an uptrend. This is a very healthy uptrend. And uh, yeah, we could say that this thing hasn't even entered a bear market uh, technically because we didn't have a 80 to 95 percent pullback or 85 to 95 percent pullback like most of the altcoins did with this high from August or from September 2021. We went down approximately 73 percent, which uh, which took us down and which happened back in February 2022 since then and even that was a higher low com compared to what we had in July and since then we've moved up a nice 6x and since our last local high in December 2022 which is actually when most of the old coins were bottoming out we were creating a local high an all-time high price for trust wallet and right now we've corrected down 74 percent and i would say with, with when this correction was happening this was the best time to be entering now obviously i'm not going to say that we're going to be coming back down to june 2021 lows and you know unless we have a massive flash crash unless something massive comes out about binance or trust wallet some specific bearish news then the price could capitulate that low other than that, I would not be expecting us to retest those prices. Now, if we take a look at some of these local lows, we can start targeting those if you want to set up some buy limit orders just in case we get to them. So we have this local low printed in June 2022 and this local low printed in June as well. So this level was actually retested three times in 2022. So that would be 56 cents. And we also have this level sitting at 69 and a half cents, which we almost retested in June right now with this pullback, June 9th. And we could still do that. We could still have that retest just because we didn't get there the first time does not mean we're not going to be able to do that on the second go. We're already we've already lost the 20 EMA, which is the yellow line here, and we're getting rejected by it. And I would say anything between this low and 69 and a half cents is a great entry, especially if you were looking to get into Trust Wallet for a very long time. I was staying away from it because of this massive move that we've had above two and a half dollars. You know, we peaked at two dollars and 72 cents because CZ, if you remember, started talking about this during the FTX crash and everyone started moving their assets to Trust Wallet because CZ said that it's the safest or whatever decentralized wallet that Binance has because Binance does own Trust Wallet. There's a different team working on it, obviously, but it's owned by Binance. Now, we also have this block over here above us. It's a resistance block that previously was our support. Anywhere from $1.14 down to $1.06 is going to be a massive resistance level for us because we've bottomed out or we retested this level in March this year, in April, twice, in May, and we held it as support in May for quite a while actually before we eventually dropped in June. And as you all know, once you lose a support level, you come back up to retest it as resistance. So there's still a chance for us to print a higher low and start retracing and maybe we even break above the blue resistance trend line. We come and break uh, the blue trend line and retest the block as resistance and then we have another move to the downside. Obviously, that's more of a bullish outlook because this assumes that we're going to be printing these higher highs and higher lows in this local fractal. But I don't know what's going to be happening. I'm just giving you a potential uh, a swing trade here, right? Or a potential short-term trade. Now, if you were looking to enter, I would say you can target this low over here, which we're exactly looking at and we're sitting at this low right now at 89 cents, which was uh, our low here in June before we had a little retracement to the upside to 94 cents. And then we had that dip. 
So I would be careful. I'm not swing trading right now, not entering anything for short term trading because it's too volatile. And you can see this was our support level back in September 2022. This was our resistance back in June 2022. And this was our support back in September 2021. And this was our resistance back in February 2021. So this is quite an important level from a historic perspective. And if we manage to lose it once again and we back test it as resistance, I think we're well on our way back down to retest this 70 cents low. And from there, we'll see what happens. We can't really speculate too much because we don't have a crystal ball. We're just uh, we're just expecting, uh, we're just gonna be reacting to what is gonna be happening. So we're just seeing it, what our possibilities are if we move to the upside or if we move to the downside. That's the entire point of TA, it's not to predict what is gonna be happening. Now, if we take a Fibonacci retracement from the swing high that we printed on June 22nd and the swing low that we printed on June 12th, we have a golden ratio sitting at 81 cents. That could be where we print our lower high or higher low, I should say. From there, we could see a move into the blue resistance trend line or the resistance block, or we could also see a rejection off the 55 EMA. So. If you're feeling, uh, you know, a bit frisky, you want to enter this short term trade, you could enter here and you could potentially be looking at 15 to 22 to 30 percent trade. Right. If you want to swing trade or enter a short term trade like that. Now, taking a look at the daily RSI, we had this massive dip here below the index of 30, which was a very good buying opportunity. This also aligned with this local low being printed. So you knew this was a very good level to enter. The last time we were this low was back in March 2023. And at that time we were sitting at approximately a dollar and seven cents. Goes to show how low we've gone since then. And from that low, we're down approximately 31%, but on the RSI, it's roughly, well, we're slightly lower over here. But overall, every time you entered the oversold, you had a nice move to the upside. And right now we had the exact same thing playing out. We dropped below the index of 30 and then we had a nice move to the upside. You could have made some short term gains. For example, a 34, 30% trade was pretty easy here if you were buying the dip after we had this massive sell off. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon that's linked down below in the description. If you enjoy my content, you want to get more exclusive content and you want to support me at the same time, definitely feel free to check out the Patreon because you're going to get a seven day free access on my Patreon and an instant access to all of my content uh, since October 2021, which is when I started. You'll get access to content like exclusive weekly podcasts and we're starting to invite guests already. We have 40 plus low cap gem posts. We have a bunch of project uh, reviews. We have a bunch of resources that are going to help you save time and make more money with this upcoming bull market. So this is definitely a great exchange of value for the both of us. And once again, there's a seven day free trial. Feel free to check it out. You can leave any time and let's continue with the video. Taking a look at the weekly chart and more of the big picture stuff, you can see that we are in a channel up pattern. And for those of you who don't know, channel up patterns are typically broken to the downside. We have a move to the downside from these patterns. Sometimes, obviously, we have exceptions where we break to the upside, but to invalidate this pattern, we need to break above this resistance trend line that we've retested three times already. So once in May 2021, once in September 2021, and once in November 2022. And every time we retest the resistance, we come back down and retest the bottom support here, the lower trend line of the channel up pattern. We've done that over here in May or June 2023, and we're having a bounce. You can also see that we lost this massive, massive ascending support trend line, which we have been holding since June 2021. So two years later, we lose that. We could have a move back up to retest it as resistance. That would roughly put us at $1.06. From there, we could come back down and lose the support of the channel up pattern. And you can see that we do have this 786 fib sitting over there. Let me just make this a bit smaller. There we go. So 69 cents approximately is going to be your 
69 and a half cents is a massive support level. We retested that in June 2022, the last time. So if we start losing the channel's support, that's the level that I would be looking at for immediate support. Below that, you have this local low that we printed in June, obviously at 59 and a half cents. And then you have the Fibonacci level or the first Fib level, I should say, the local low that we printed back in February 2022. So these levels could still be retested. There's no telling if we're going to come back down to 48 cents. It is not out of the realms of possibilities. You have to understand that we could still have a 50% crash across the entire altcoin market before we head into the bull market. So be ready for both outcomes. I would say this is a pretty good position to start building your uh, trust wallet uh, holdings. So take a look at the current price. See if you like it. See what targets you might have. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Trust Wallet token and the Trust Wallet app. Do you use it? Do you think that it's safe to use? And I'm going to see you in the next update. Take care and goodbye.